Indeks-indeks utama di Wall Street terus berangkat naik dan menembus angka historis. The market is digesting the sort of early throes of earnings season. Uh, and what we're seeing, however, is again, is that uh, movement into back into growth stocks, back into big cap tech and fang stocks, uh, whereas some of the value sectors uh, such as financials or, and energy are starting to struggle again. Um, it's a question of whether that's a short term change uh, so far, uh, whether that will become uh, something more protracted. Lagi pelonggaran PSBB dan pembukaan kembali kegiatan ekonomi real alias Main Street menjadi faktor. I see what the retail investors doing right now and most portfolios are still positioned for the last 10 years. They still have bond funds. If his interest rates go up, that's terrible for bond prices. In fact, long-term bonds are down big this year and growth stocks, tech stocks which were like the darlings the last decade, they don't do that well in an inflationary environment whereas, you know, small cap stocks which were more sensitive to the reopening of the economy, they, they do better. You start looking at uh, you know, places like uh, commodities, having commodities in your portfolio, which have already gone up, you know, having just outright commodity exposure, and then economy-based, or excuse me, commodity-based economies like the emerging markets, you definitely want to have exposure there as well. And just a trend on, on top of all these other trends is you have a falling dollar as well. The dollar has been a lot weaker the last 12 months. That's good for anything that's international. So even having developed markets in your portfolio right now, which are also more cyclical in nature, typically, that's also going to benefit from a weak dollar and the fact that the economy again is starting to open up again. California yang pada pergantian tahun mengalami lonjakan kasus positif COVID juga kembali membuka stadion olahraga dan juga taman rekreasi. meski dengan kapasitas terbatas. Lonjakan kasus COVID di California baru-baru ini adalah dari varian baru lokal. Dan sementara itu, varian B117 atau varian Inggris juga kini menjadi varian yang dominan di sebagian wilayah barat tengah Amerika Serikat alias Midwest. Banyaknya mutasi ini memunculkan kekhawatiran bahwa COVID yang telah mulai terkendali bisa mengganas lagi. Karena itu pemerintahan Joe Biden menganggarkan sekitar 2 miliar dolar, sekitar 29 triliun rupiah untuk melacak dan meliti varian-varian ini. Pemulihan ekonomi memang masih terancam gelombang keempat COVID meski ketenaga kerjaan membaik dengan turunnya jumlah pemohon tunjangan pengangguran baru. We drop down into the 576 area, but again, it's that continuing claims level that hangs up there at a very, very high level, which I think is really the, the critical issue for the labor market. It's showing you that the people who have been generally unemployed in this environment are still generally unemployed. Sementara titik terang tetap sektor retail. Now, were we going to be able to grow at five or six percent on an ongoing basis without additional stimulus? No, the economy will settle back towards its trend, which is probably at around the two to two and a half percent level, probably within the range of 2022, 2023. Satu lagi kendala dalam penanggulangan COVID adalah penangguhan penggunaan vaksin Johnson and Johnson setelah ada kasus pengumpalan darah pada enam penerima dari hampir tujuh juta penerima vaksin J and J. Mengabarkan untuk TV One dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi, VOA.